Hey, yo, Biz. We back? We back, baby. Hell yeah. Fuck you, Trevor, and I've been selling product. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to This Week in Blade. It's your boy, Biz. We on season two. Thanks for still rocking with me, because if you not, that's your choice, and I'm not gonna fault you for your choices. We're talking blading here every single week, so if you're new to this series, consider subscribing, following, like, you know what it is. Do it, make it happen. Yes, this is a new season, but some things just never change. We're gonna start this week off, as always, with products. There's actually a good number of products this week, which is awesome. First out the gate, CJ Wellsmore is getting a new skate. CJ posted a picture of the Seba CJ Black on Instagram last week, and it looks finer than their high school crush on prom night. He said it's coming out soon, so we'll keep you posted. Seba plus CJ equals magic. Circolo's getting back in the game with a new set of brown wheels. They posted both of these on the gram last week, and if I could just get a pair of Lomax's Cafe Mochas, I'll be in business. Let's talk undercover, because I like undercover, damn it. They've been dropping food wheels like hotcakes. You see what I did there? You like that? No? Okay. Anyways, all you can put out an edit for his hot ass bowl of ramen wheels, and they're too fire. I mean, everything that man does is amazing, so why would you think anything less? And also, we got a photo of Carlos Brunel's warm cup of Joe wheels in brown. What's the deal with brown wheels? Did I miss something last week? Tougher Wheels out of Florida. It's a newish company, but they're making big moves. They've teamed up with Jump Street Podcast. You know those guys. Billy O'Neill, Austin Paz, Goats. You've looked up to them your whole life. Truth, all that. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. They teamed up to give away a free set of wheels. All you got to do is post a clip of you doing a backslide on the gram. A backslide? Easy. Damn it. Tag Drum Street and Tougher Wheels. Follow them both and you're good. Link to all that stuff in the description. I feel like I'm about to OD on products, which is the best way to go. 5050 is making a blade backpack again. They got frames, wheels, now a backpack. What y'all gonna make next, boots? It's like a grown up, mature, ready to get a job version of the OG backpack. Pre-orders for that bad boy is happening in May. Get on it. Okay, that's it for products. I feel like I took up all the time of the show. Okay, let's talk about events. LES happened in New York last weekend. I was on Instagram Snap trying to live vicariously, but it didn't really work out too well because I kept getting sad that I wasn't there. I like comps like this because it's not just who can skate the best or go the craziest. They have smaller comps that might tailor to your specific type of skating. They had a lap race, a set slide battle, best spin, and a game of blade. Shout out to all the East Coast homies for putting together what looks like a really dope comp. The Lux box cop was canceled because of rain. But the news lied and it was a beautiful, sunny California day. But regardless, the comp was moved to the following weekend. And bangers still went down. Shout out to the homie Sneak for winning the box comp, Noah Nuber for taking home the wackiest trick, and Steven Babcock for winning the down rail jam. All three of these guys showed up in one car. Total domination. Okay, that's it for events. This week, we have, wait for it, wait for it, Sean Kelso is pro for them skates. Hold up, I'm not done. One of the swag gods have been signed. That's it, it's done. Them has the swaggiest team in blading. I don't care, sorry not sorry. Sean broke the internet by dropping four clips for his announcement. Each one better than the last. The amount of drip, no one meant. Oh my God. You know how Red Eye is a wheel company and they have a pro team and they're releasing names like a slow drip? Pretty much giving me a wheels and deals every week. Yeah, cool. Russell Day and Corey Waikiki just got put on. Bruh, such an amazing pickup. They both kill it on a daily, and I see Corey kill it with my own two eyes. It's amazing. Two incredible pickups. Good job, Red Eye. Conjure pulled a fast one and took Ryan Parker off the free agent list. Okay, blading doesn't really work like that, but you know what I mean. If you don't know Ryan Parker, you gonna learn today. Super swaggy giant trick vocabulary can destroy your local skate park and the handrail in front of your shopping mall and this window seal. Really good pickup on Conjure's end. Make his will dope, please. Okay, that's it for Wales and Deals. I had to get that out, I was way too excited. Let's talk about videos. It's 
So everyone's in Hiroshima for fees and Tomek is in Bangkok. Throwing down some really swaggy clips for Gods and Head on Skate. Him and Warpage. Sorry guys, he's gonna be a little late for the comp. He's putting in work. Isaac Callen has more tats than a little bit. And tricks for days, 10 to be exact. Him and the New Zealand boys made it out to LA for 10 days and destroyed my favorite spots. I'm sick of these people leaving their homelands, coming to my homeland, and destroying my spots. Nah, I'm just kidding. Your skating's awesome, my friend. Come back anytime. Victor, damn. I know it's probably not pronounced like that, but that's how I'm saying it after watching this edit. Like, damn, put down some heat for razors. I wish I could just go on a year-long worldwide tour and skate in different continents, but I can't. I gotta be here, give you the news. Sacrifices. Nick Lomax did some skating for Arsena in Strasbourg. They say he was only there for two hours, but he put out a minute of footage. Look, clips take roughly four to six seconds, depending on what you're doing. A line could be anywhere as 10 seconds. A minute is 60 seconds, and Nick filmed a minute of street skating in two hours. How, Sway? And speaking of Nick Lomax, the gang gang teased a Blader Gang Nick Lomax VOD called Duo. Part one dropped 420, which was yesterday, which means you should already be watching it. I record on Saturday, so this is both the present and future for me. Let your high ass brains melt on that. Okay, that's it for videos this week. Let's get social. Gucci. You know that really expensive brands that rappers are always talking about? Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. I use the term rappers loosely. They posted this. To the normal consumer, you just see weirdos in Gucci making out. Typical Gucci ad. But to the trained blader eye, you can see that homeboy is wearing oxygens? I was just as confused as you are. Some are juiced on this, others are looking at Gucci like they're using this as a come up for something they don't understand. What's your opinion? Let me know in the description. Fabiola Da Silva can still skate street. If you follow her on IG, you know she's a vert destroyer, as well as having a crazy workout routine. Look at those abs. She posted the clip of her front row yelling a down rail. Fab Street Park coming soon? Maybe? Kayla Carmichael has way better ramp skills than all of you. And when I say all of you, I mean all of you. She boosts the spine transfer at her local wooden metal and does it more than once. How does she keep speed? How is she this good? How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? Brian Wise, Luke Naylor, and the god himself, Don Brambrick, dropped some really, really dope clips on the gram this week. They called it not cereal, just in case you were thinking these were any kind of sugary breakfast food. Literally every clip was amazing. Go watch that for sure. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for the first episode of season two of This Week in Blade. Make sure you like this video and comment your favorite news below. You know the deal. Make sure you're following bladerunion.com to keep up with everything happening in the blading world. Now, of all the disasters happening in the world, Mikey definitely has the biggest.